America, a land built on the ideals of freedom, equality, and justice for all. Every day, millions of black people across the America face challenges that often go unseen or unheard. But for many black Americans, these ideals have often felt like unfulfilled promises. Why has the relationship between black communities and the broader American society been marked by so much struggle? Is it hate, systemic inequality, or a complicated history we're failing to address? Their daily experiences can be filled with obstacles that others may never have to think about. The roots of racism in America starts in the 1600s when millions of Africans were kidnapped and brought to America as slaves. They weren't treated like people. They were treated like property. Families were ripped apart. Cultures were destroyed. And a system of dehumanization was created. Even after slavery ended in 1865, they faced segregation, violence, and systemic racism. The South introduced Jim Crow laws that kept black and white people separate in schools, housing, and public spaces. These laws reinforced the idea that black people were second-class citizens. Violence was a constant threat. Lynchings were common, with thousands of black men and women killed by mobs. These acts of terror weren't just about killing, they were about sending a message. Stay in your place. The justice system in America is supposed to ensure fairness and equality, but for many black Americans, it feels like the deck is stacked against them. Black Americans are disproportionately stopped by police for things like traffic violations or simply walking in certain neighborhoods, a phenomenon known as racial profiling. This isn't about behavior. It's about assumptions tied to skin color. A black person driving an expensive car or walking in a predominantly white neighborhood is often seen as suspicious, leading to unnecessary and unjustified interactions with law enforcement. Black people are more likely to be stopped by police, arrested, and sentenced to longer prison terms than white people for the same crimes. Names like George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Eric Garner remind us that police violence against black Americans is still a major issue. For many black youth, the justice system starts early. Schools in predominantly black neighborhoods often have police officers on campus. Minor misbehaviors, like talking back to a teacher, can lead to arrests and juvenile detention rather than counseling or support. This system, often called the school-to-prison pipeline, disproportionately impacts black children, setting them on a path of criminalization from an early age. When black Americans are arrested, they're often sentenced more harshly than white people for the same crimes. Studies have shown that black defendants receive longer sentences and are more likely to face the death penalty, especially when the victim is white. This disparity is rooted in both explicit and implicit biases within the legal system. The U.S. has one of the highest incarceration rates in the world, and black Americans are overrepresented in this population. Despite making up about 13% of the U.S. population, black people account for nearly 40% of the prison population. This isn't because they commit more crimes. It's because they are more likely to be arrested, charged, and sentenced harshly. The effects of police brutality and mass incarceration extend beyond the individual. Families are torn apart when loved ones are imprisoned. Children grow up without parents. Communities lose members who could have contributed economically and socially. Having a criminal record also makes it harder to find a job, secure housing, or access education, perpetuating a cycle of poverty and inequality. The constant threat of police violence and unfair treatment takes a toll on mental health. Black Americans often live with anxiety, fear, and trauma related to encounters with law enforcement. This emotional weight is compounded by a justice system that often seems indifferent to their suffering. Despite these challenges, black Americans have continuously fought for justice and reform. The Black Lives Matter movement, sparked by the deaths of Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown, has brought international attention to police brutality. Protests, advocacy, and legal action have pushed for changes like police reform, body cameras, and the defunding of excessive police militarization. The reasons are deep and complex. Part of it is ignorance, a lack of understanding about black history and culture. Many people don't realize how much black Americans have contributed to this country, from science and art to politics and sports. Fear also plays a role. Some people fear losing their power or privilege. And let's be honest, confronting racism means facing uncomfortable truths about America's past and present. There's also the issue of power. Racism isn't just about personal hate. It's about maintaining systems that benefit some at the expense of others. 
Despite all these challenges, black Americans have shown incredible strength. They've created music, art, and culture that has shaped the world. They fought for justice and equality, inspiring movements around the globe. From Harriet Tubman to Barack Obama, black Americans have proven time and again that they are resilient, creative, and powerful. The fight against racism isn't just a black issue. It's a human issue. Everyone has a role to play in creating a fairer, more just society. So, does America hate black people? The truth is, America's systems have been built on racism, and black Americans have faced immense challenges because of it. But this story isn't just one of oppression, it's one of resilience, strength, and hope. Change is possible, but it requires all of us to take action. By confronting the past and working toward a better future, we can ensure that every person, no matter their race, is treated with the dignity and respect they deserve. At the end of the day, it's not just about understanding the struggles black people face. It's about doing something. Every little action, whether it's standing up against injustice, supporting black-owned businesses, or simply listening with empathy, can make a world of difference. If you found this video eye-opening, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more discussions on topics that matter. Leave a comment below. Let's keep this conversation alive. And until next time, and let's make the world a better place for everyone. Thanks for watching.